Hello Miss. Today Data Sun would like to show you how to create single edit form uh, for multiple galleries. So imagine that you have a shape list uh, and you want to create multiple galleries from this shape list uh, but you only want to create a single edit form for all the galleries. So how can we do this? Before we start, if you are new to our channel, let's subscribe so that you could receive many more tips in the future. Thank you. Usually, when you build power apps, uh, start from uh, SharePoint data, you will receive uh, an app with three screens, uh, whereas the uh, browse screen uh, contains the uh, gallery of all items and then also edit screen uh, corresponding to this gallery so this means that when you have uh, more gallery you probably need to create a corresponding edit screen uh, but uh, there is a way you don't need to do this um, so let's say uh, we have this uh, shepherd list uh, with the, the customer order list and we want to have uh, each gallery for each order status, here we have for order status, queue, search, order, and build. And each status, we have a list. Uh, we see the gallery here. And we, uh, uh, so this one is the list of all the items that customer are queuing. And this one is the list of all orders that customer have, uh, have already booked. And this one is the list. Uh, that uh, we already served and this one is uh, the order list that we already built and um, we we want that uh, whenever we click onto any item this uh, edit form will change accordingly um, so let's say we click this item uh, uh, this one we haven't built the formula yet we will build later and this one when we click this item we we uh, we can see here the order id and if we click this one it will change accordingly and now let's uh, build a formula for this gallery so at the moment on select it is phone and what we want to do here is uh, we set a variable um, and so we set the we name the uh, variable as uh, go to item and the value for for this variable is the id of the selected item so we 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 type this item dot id so this means that um, whenever we select any item uh, we will uh, set the uh, id of that item as the value of this variable go to item and um, here on the edit form uh, we also need to uh, assign the ID of our form uh, same as the, um, the variable so we set the ID equal to the uh, variable and um, as you could see the formula here we just filter uh, this uh, uh, this uh, this data source we see the uh, this shape list we filter this one where uh, the ID is uh, equal to this uh, variable and this variable will be trained uh, according to where we click on our galleries as you could see here so and uh, we filter uh, we need to put the first uh, the first uh, the, uh, formula here because uh, we want to get the record um, rather than the table so we hope that you like uh, this tip and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips thank you